Hey guys, it's Kaveta with SavingWithKaveta.com. I just wanted to make this quick little video in regards to Vans and their frozen food deal that's going on for the rest of the month. We have about eight more days or nine more days left. So if you have a Vans or Safeway, definitely make sure you're taking advantage of this deal because they do this once a year. So we're not going to see this again until next year. So make sure you fill that freezer up, you guys. Okay, so a lot of you have been saying, um, some people are saying that they don't, they didn't get the um, five dollar frozen food coupon, and the store is saying it's because you went under the minimum amount after your coupon, and it's supposed to be before coupons, and you know all of that. I wanted, to, um, what's her name? Hold on, <laughs> trying to remember. I know I'm gonna go on YouTube and um, run into my inbox real quick. I don't think there's anything in there but um it was every coupon count every coupons count she sent me a part of the the um policy because she didn't understand it and wanted to know exactly what it meant and i don't know why i didn't think of this before so you i can help to make you guys' life easier but thank you so much for sending this so i could look it over and this is what i am getting when they're telling you that the t the ten dollars or if you're in a state where it's fifteen dollars it has to be before coupon um after coupons that is incorrect because if you read here it's talking about purchase reward uh thresholds it's saying that it's calculated after deducting club savings so like if they have it for 7.99 but then after club savings it's five dollars and you buy two that makes it ten dollars then you're at your ten dollars so you can use it but if it's say five five dollars for the pizza and then last week they had the in-ad coupon <clears throat> that you could use or the club saving when you could add that to your card it would be 449 so now your total would be like 898 you wouldn't get the the, the five dollars because you weren't ten dollars before club card saving that's what it says right here then it gives you an example it says if a ten dollar minimum purchase is required a customer's order at full retail would be twelve dollars a club card discount of 175 applies and a manufacturer coupon of one dollar applies so then now after the club card 175 you're at 1025 after the one dollar manufacturer coupon you're at 925 and it says the manufacturer coupon would not be deducted from the total for purpose of determining reward eligibility so it says you would still get it even if you paid the 925 okay are you understand it <laughs> understanding it says purchase reward uh, threshold if any will be calculated based upon customers final price after deducting club card savings and other discounts but it's telling you that you would still get the five dollars <throat> even if the coupon brings you down under the threshold because that has nothing to do with it the only thing that you'd have to think about is the club card saving and no i'm i looked at my receipt just now and i'm seeing why the DiGiorno was giving me so much issue it's because i had added the 449 price on my card so when i did that it was take it was um calculating the pizzas at 449 a piece and not five dollars so then that's why it didn't print me that five dollars that one time because i wasn't at ten dollars i didn't remember that i added that 449 so i would have needed something else to bring me over ten dollars so that's why i didn't bring it didn't print it but then after i added the the pick sweet veggies it did print it and i was just trying to figure out why was it doing that because you know five and five ten for the pizzas but then the pizzas weren't five dollars for me because i was paying four and four forty nine because i added my club card saving thingy before i left and i totally forgot about that so it's not the coupon the coupon has nothing to do with it because i've been doing this since it started and for example i'm going to use the stouffer's farmers harvest those are four for ten and you, I used the four one dollar coupon, making it six dollars. Not four for, yeah, <laughs> making it six dollars. Then I used the five dollar Catalina.
from the frozen food making it a dollar so I paid a dollar cash out of my pocket and I still got the five dollars back so it has nothing to do with the manufacturer coupons and it does say so in their coupon policy right here you know so I, I'm sorry if I confused you guys with the pizza but I know still you guys are still having issues with that but as you can see it says it is not calculated after manufacturer coupon so you, you hit ten dollars and then you use ten dollars in manufacturer coupons you're still gonna get that five dollars okay so make sure you show this policy I'm not sure why it's it's just been doing crazy stuff for people you can always call um, Catalina Network and they will send you out your Catalina or I don't know what they send if they send a check or cash or what it is but they will uh, reimburse you but I cannot wait for Catalina marketing to send me anything because I want to roll my five dollars right there so I would just say go to customer service that's what I did when it didn't print that five that five dollars I just went to customer service returned it and then went and did it again because you know I'm not gonna be out five dollars because of whatever but at that point that was my mistake because I had added that 449 coupon to make the pizzas 449 instead of five dollars so now I was short a dollar two cents to get to ten dollars I hope that makes sense so definitely head over here print the coupon policy I'll link it below and just read in its entirety right here where it says purchase threshold will be calculated based upon customers final price after deducting club savings and all other discounts and savings before deductions for any manufacturer coupons so it says purchase purchase reward threshold will be calculated before deductions of manufacturer coupon so when you get the oh the five dollars didn't print because your manufacturer coupons took you under the fifteen dollars or the ten dollars then that's not correct so definitely check your receipts and see if you know you added something for what you bought say like you know or you used the in ad coupon if it brought you under ten dollars or under the fifteen dollars in some states that may be why it didn't print your five dollars because a couple of you have said it didn't print it and you were saying it's after coupons or whatever but right here it's saying that it's not or the machine just could be broken some it could be out of paper you know something just could be going on with that particular machine at that particular time I've been reading a lot of forums and trying to figure out what's going on some people were saying you know they weren't getting theirs at self checkout but when they went to the regular checkout they got it you know so believe me it's so crazy I mean a machine is man-made it's a machine so anything can happen it might just be that time when <laughs> you're checking out that one transaction and it just goes cuckoo and you know it didn't print your five dollars but definitely print this you guys you know take it with you when they're trying to tell you it's before you know oh it has to be fifteen dollars or ten dollars after coupon no it says before coupons right here it's after their club savings and other discounts so it's after their club savings when you add that those coupons to your card or when you scan their in ad coupons okay so I hope that makes sense um, for you guys so definitely take this and yeah take this with you if you have issues and definitely show that to them I hope you guys are grabbing these awesome deals so many so many awesome deals I'm gonna be grabbing some more pizza since I now figured <laughs> figured out why the pizza was giving me so many problems and let me show you again what it is okay so we have the five dollars for the DiGiorno's that's ten dollars and then we're gonna minus that five dollars frozen food Catalina and if you already have the two dollar fifty coupon like I do you're gonna end up paying two dollars and fifty cents and you're gonna get another five dollars so now you're at a dollar twenty five a piece for the DiGiorno and that's a 12 inch pizzas so that's a that's a crazy crazy deal okay all right guys that's it for now um, I have a couple more videos that I need to make but I'm just gonna do this right now maybe make another one later so keep an eye out baby sleeping so I snuck in this 10 minutes here to make this <laughs> hope you guys are having an awesome week couponing so far and having an awesome week I will talk to you all later happy couponing bye